In Corel Paint Shop Pro X4, now I'm gonna open another photo, just jumping quickly into my browser of uh, files on my PC and uh, drag a photo within my tray at the bottom of the panel. Once I reach within the tray, I can double click the photo and it will open into my adjustment area. On the left hand side here, I've got a few boxes that I can use. I normally like to start with these suggested settings that will help me to define which one would be the best configuration for this photo. This one is something that goes along the line as auto tone or auto levels in uh, Photoshop. And after that, I'm gonna go down here where we see color balance. And in color balance, I will choose which direction I want to move this photo. If I think, for example, I can make it warmer, I will move this temperature slider towards the right where the colors turns more yellowish. On the other side will be bluish. For this case, I prefer to move it towards the right. Also underneath, tint will uh, emphasize a specific uh, tint. In particular, here we have purple towards the uh, left and green towards the right. In this case, I would just go slightly towards purple. The reason why we have only purple and green is because these two are compensating for the change in temperature that we do above. In uh, the area of uh, fill light and clarity, I'm gonna increase the fill light to reveal some of the shadow on the left hand uh, area. Whereas for clarity, I'm gonna increase the value to reveal more details on the texture of the skin. I'm gonna go then to my favorite setting, local tone mapping. This one will make your photo look like a HDR photo. Of course, if you exaggerate, you will go out of scale. So normally I try to keep the value within a reasonable amount and at the same time I also compensate with this block size that will define where exactly the effect will be applied. Once I do so, I'll go back to my fill light and sometimes I will need to adjust the, the value of fill light to make sure that the shadow area don't get too desaturated. Then I will go next to High Pass Sharpen, this is a great tool. It reminds me a lot of the tool Unsharpen Mask in Photoshop. When I increase the radius, it will define which area I want to contrast. When I increase the strength based on that area, it will increase the amount of details that we will be able to see. I'm gonna go back to my color balance one more time and change the temperature to make everything a little bit warmer and one last touch into my smart photo fix. At first I started with uh, suggested settings. Now I'm gonna change the value for shadow and I will decrease the value to make the photo more contrasted in the area of the shadow. At the same time, I also gonna increase a little bit the saturation so that the saturation can come back on the texture of the throat. At the end of the day, suggested settings Try to address us towards the right settings for this photo as Corel Paint Shop Pro X4 thinks will be the best result. But ultimately, as we can see, we can use the values of color balance, brightness and contrast, fill light and clarity, local tone matting, and high pass sharpen to define our preferred settings. I just want to share one more time how the picture was before and how it looks like now. So this is how it looks like now, and this is a before.